Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. See, there are a lot of new followers, actually. So, let's go through them. So, we'll start with... Silva John, thank you for the follow. Dr. Brett TV, thank you for the follow. Easel Draws, thank you for the follow. Tyler Furlong, thank you for the follow. Luna Chef, thank you for the follow. Comfy uh, Bunker, thank you for the follow. Teddy the Bull, thank you for the follow. And Trademark TM, thank you for the follow. You're wide open. There we go, we got through the list. So, I guess the goal for today is to just do whatever we can. This will be one of the final streams before the event actually ends. So I'm thinking, I'm still going for episode 4 stuff, but if chat's looking for anything in particular, let me know. We could probably do some hunts, because this will be the last day for requests, more or less. In the meantime, enjoy some Streets of Rage 4. I'm not gonna lie, the soundtrack is very good. Even though even though it's not purely Yuzo Kosuhiro, I do like it a lot. Marco asking, did any Eclair show up in the last stream? No. <laughs> no. It, it's apparently just a forbidden enemy. Never to be seen again. Although this might only be- you know what, we might listen to the whole of Streets of Rage 4. I think these are only the songs that uh, the composer worked on, but I think it's worth listening to the whole soundtrack. So it is even beat. If anyone, anybody wants to hop in for episode 4, You're wide I think open. we could do it. Uh, I think I'll start off with green ID versus yellow ID. You're wide open. You're wide open. I'm here in stream, if not in brain. Welcome, Murphy. We'd like to do some episode 4 boss hunts. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to... Wait, didn't I do C-Bank 2? Or did I miss typo? My bad. I swear, unless I did Bank 4 or something, that that, that would make sense. Or Bank 2. I probably forgot C-Bank. I was like, I thought for sure I did this, but whatever. You know, the goal is to find Dwarf on a Claire. I don't even care about the other rares. <laughs> like, I just want to see if we can even find one. I did bank two. That makes sense. See, because I was like, I, I was like, I know I typed something out and I hit enter, but I didn't look at the confirmation message. So that would not surprise me in the slightest. Uh, I could potentially be a force into this. I don't really care. Although it means I'm probably going to hit 200 with this character. Which does make me a little sad. I don't like hitting 200. But oh well. If there's anybody that would like to assist in our hunt for Dorfana Claire, as we will also go for Galatine V101, Heaven Striker, air quotes, Cannon Rouge, allegedly from Dorfana Claire, then you're more than welcome to join in. Yeah, this is a scenario where if I had another century of ability, I would probably just put it on this character. Because he has to be like only one level up from capping, right? If I did his materials right. He should, in theory. Let's check. 469. So his evasion didn't cap. Question mark?
14 evade. I mean, I don't care if it's not capped. I was just curious. All his important stats are capped. Maybe I did important stats only. Oh no, I did the uh, min-max. I did the min-max. Yeah, that's fine. I was just curious. Anyway, if anybody would like some very easy levels, I will carry you. <laughs> like, I just need to get there. Um, does he have his own PB crates? I will probably unironically purchase a lot of PB increases. Oh, he's not using a smart link. Well, step back on then. Probably use a bringer. I think that would make sense to bring. Otherwise, we'll get started in just a moment. It's a 30 hit Excalibur. I should give it a shot. Otherwise, he's good to go. Yeah, I think it's early in the morning. I don't think anybody's here. So, by all means. Equip my red ring for stacking in desert. I think on the surface it doesn't help to stack as much. Yeah, we're we're definitely listening to the Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack start to finish. Oh, I just realized he doesn't have any add-ups. That's awkward. Oh, I didn't realize he did the boss themes. Interesting. Go away for Imperimeter, and then we'll get started. Yes, Chan. Let me know if there's anything you want to hunt after we do a few of these. It's... We'll probably take it at least to the end of even beat. So I think overall we've probably seen a total of closer to 140 Dorfons. We count all of the sessions we did episode 4 boss runs. So kind of disappointing we still haven't seen a single one. But I think just as of last session, we had 30 plus 27. So we added almost half of the Dwarfon accounts in one session. Yeah, we'll figure things out with the character. Welcome, Chris. If you would like to hop in, we have not started yet. We're about to do some episode 4. Currently waiting on an parameter. I dance around the small child that helps me know what episode we're in. As pointed out by the chat. What? Shredder's Revenge. I don't think I've ever heard that soundtrack before. Give it a shot later. Possibly after we're done with uh, Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack. So we'll give Chris a minute and then we'll begin.
See, I thought it was T Lopes too, but then it said T Lopez earlier, so I got confused. We were talking about that last stream. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> So I don't know if it was just a typo in the other place. I'm assuming it was a typo. But oh well. Yeah, I think it is T-Lopes. Interestingly, I find on the Streets of Rage soundtrack, on the fourth one, even though I like the character select theme and the main theme is pretty solid, I don't think they're my favorite songs on the soundtrack. So definitely, we'll have to shout out whatever composers to the ones that I actually like the most. You know, you gotta give credit where credit is due. Like, these are good songs, but I don't think they're my favorites on the soundtrack. And definitely not if you include the DLC. The DLC soundtrack is actually super good. So we'll give Chris a minute to join us. In the meantime, I'm gonna look up the full soundtrack. Hopefully this includes the DLC. I'll know if it doesn't, because I know most of the DLC songs. There we go. It is Pew Pew Laser O'Clock. Yeah, and if we have a forest, I might just go back to Ranger. But for now, I'll do one of these. It'll put me close to 200, but not at 200. the end of the songs he worked on. Let's go ahead and put on the official soundtrack. It's like over there. I was wondering what was happening. Oh, bringers, you're so silly. fire damage.
Wow. It survived by one hit. So lucky. So lucky that fireball hit before. I mean, it died immediately afterwards, but it, it did what it wanted to do, I guess. Hold on. <laughs> I'm looking at this and it's like official soundtrack, 50 videos, and but the first video is the whole soundtrack? Did they just repeat the videos again? Like wait a minute. The other ones don't look like DLC songs. I'm gonna tell you chat, whoever does these so, some of these playlists on YouTube, dubious. <laughs> So they included the full OST, but also the individual ones in the same playlist? Why? I have so many questions. I mean, I'd rather listen to the combined version, don't get me wrong, for purposes of not needing to touch YouTube. Stacking, I believe in the team. There we go. Near him. Goodbye. Yeah, our damage is so high right now. Get ready for the door fawn. Ouch. Actually, just legit dead instantly. Listen, I'm not spamming anything other than Gafoe. Let's go. Goodbye, satellite lizards. Get deleted. Oh, this is gonna do so much damage. Look at their health bars. Time to start moving over. Right, so hopefully my Gafoe wears off. I don't think we'll kill them quick enough. No matter. Yeah, that should be fine. Might have been a little early. Still fine. Team on this one. To no one's surprise, no door find a clear. I would like to point out that we got a V101 before we saw a single door find a clear. 
Question mark. Actual tomfoolery and shenanigans. I'm just gonna debuff briefly and then I'm gonna go right back to doing this. Make it easy for everybody. Slightly not far up enough. I'm gonna walk up a little. That way I still hit the zoos, but I just want to make sure the Marissa's and the Raffi they should be good. So we're gonna re rely on the Hunter and Ranger to kill those. Here it comes. There we go. That's a good position. That is a good position. And I think I'm still close enough to the Raffi's so they don't run. Yeah. Good position. I'll help a little. They're actually just legit exploding right now. I got bad news for Gardevulu. I got bringers. So team, just get ready for the Goron detonators. Prepare for Gorons. Try to stunlock a little bit, but I need some assistance. I need help. <laughs> Someone free me. Okay, there we go. I think of Bowie stacking. That should do a lot of damage. There we go. as much as we can here. There we go. I got three Kapoe's out. That's not too bad. <laughs> Poor Rappi. He's just legit spawning dead. Look at that damage. Ooh! Fine. Nice. Congrats on the Megan level 30. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on the middle of the room. I want the Rangers and Hunter go to the far end of the room. Prepare for Goron Detonator. The forces have this. We're we're fine. Trust me. Whether there's two forces, we don't we don't we're, we'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just want to make sure that everything is handled here. There we go. Good 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 good. That'll help significantly. Yeah, freezing those means it's just easier setup. And we'll need somebody back in the middle, so get ready to help in the middle. We're gonna kill the zoos, but immediately it's gonna be the four Pyro Gorons and Goron Detonator. So if you want, you could put a Freeze Trap down preemptively and just try to hit him. Sometimes it works. Good. Huh. Yeah, this is the wave that could get kind of annoying if I'm controlled. I'm gonna put out a couple Fireballs for the next wave. Yo, 
with two forces, they bear you barely have any opportunity to do anything. Look at the Barissa's just melting. Getting actually deleted right now. We'll still knock the zoo. We'll need to help with Pyrogorons, but everything else should just die. Speaking of which. That should stall them long for me to do this. Is done? I'll let the cast go in, put the confused trap in the middle of the room, and then we'll follow suit. Yeah, if the cast ends up going first. They could get a really clean Confuse Trap or Freeze Trap, depending on their style preference. But Confuse is usually preferred because it just shuts them down so hard. Yeah, they're just not, they're not even going to attack them at this point. Now, we're not in a bad position for that, exactly. Sarcophoe sacking. I know it's going to be Marissa at some point. And even if it's the other wave like this one, it doesn't really matter. All the threats are in the middle of the room. Wait, how did the... Oh, I guess the Rappies were fleeing. I was like, how did they avoid damage there? Yeah, the poor Marissa wave is just actually dead near me. <laughs> like, they're just... I'm in the right spot to just insta-kill them. They're just GG. To GG. We'll slow this wave down a little bit. And after this, I could go back to Fireball Spam. Okay, so th this will slow down the, the Gorons the next wave. And then if you guys could take care of the zoo, I'd appreciate it. There we go. Nice and clean. There should be Goron Detonator in the middle, and then it'll be Gurdabulu. Despite not having any single adepts, I didn't lose that much time just picking up fluids. I mean, I did lose time, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like catastrophic amounts. I was worried I'd be at like one tri fluid. Okay, Galvestine chance. The red switch. Thank you, Fire Scepter Agni. Your foe damage actually mattered. Okay, so I think it'll be double force plus probably Chris with Pew Pew Laser on the worm. Will Marco hold down the middle of the room? Marco can almost survive the boss. One more level up should do. But even then, Hunter is not the best, sadly. We'll give a courtesy heal. Yeah, it's the oops, the oops all uh, elemental damage parties here. Clean up the boss. I got multi-hit. That could have been really bad. Hey, I'm invincible now. That means I could just do stupid stuff like this. Thanks, Mag Invincibility. I'm 
I think that might be the fastest I've ever seen that boss cleared. Even the boss was confused with how fast that was. Holy, poor boss. I mean, I guess it shows you the power of having invincibility. So in theory, I should have Gal Griffin wing with this character. Would have saved us some time. <laughs> this one is special. Very special. The one he found red ring. Nice, nice. No Galatine. Switch back to my ranger. Oh, that's right. I can't put any uh, badges away. Yeah, I gained money. I somehow still ended up with a good amount of fluid. Didn't even have to restock. That was fortunate. Less likely to occur, but drop rate down, of course. Let's do two more of these. And if we want to do a Heaven Striker focus run, let me know. I figured we'd give Dwarfon a chance. At least, let's say, 27 every stream. Not the bank I'm looking for. There we go. This character leveling would potentially free up more units as well. Never a bad thing. At some point, I should probably play White ID. I don't know for what though, unless we do Forest. I guess we could do White ID Forest. We've been avoiding it almost the entire event. But in theory, we could White ID Forest at some point. Okay, Marco stepping out. Anybody like to take their place? We'll give a courtesy 15 seconds to respond, because I know there's a stream delay. In the meantime, I'll fall over. This character's already doing double Centurion. How much do they actually still need this Centurion? Let's take a look. They're actually capped on ATA. That's kind of insane. How much do they need from the ATP portion? Only six. Am I looking at that correctly? Less? Oh, because of the mag they have. That's fair. That's kind of funny. So technically while I'm going pew pew laser, I don't really need this. I'm assuming nobody else is coming, because I haven't seen any comments.
I still like charge arm for the clear, but PP laser is still kind of nice. When there's this many targets, then I PP laser. So I like that. I like that option to like the Ramar has because I think his damage is so high. You know, if I want to switch it between, it's not a big deal. I just realized I put my Yashiminikab away. That's probably a round I do want it on now. Oh well. Yeah, I think I took it off last time because I wasn't using it, but I do like it for the zoos. Ooh, missing every demons there is painful. That was painful, chat. 138% chance of landing it. Nope. Brownie face. Anyway, I'm gonna charge arm these out of existence. It's only four. This will go faster than Pew Pew Laser. Here, um. Will Pew Pew Laser clean things up? Yeah, I lack kind of a single target weapon. Normally Heaven Striker fills that role, but since I'm wearing QP backpack, I can't do that. This is better than nothing. Yeah, the crits do a lot of damage. Here's an example where Charge Arm would not necessarily be good because they're kind of far away. I want to play further back. Oh, one of them didn't spawn. That was awkward. I can't kill that which just does not exist. Oof, I got both on draw. Probably want those materials. People pay a lot for HP. Mine's also good to have in case I want to do another force. Technically, I technically there's another force I should make. I don't know how useful it'll be, but at least Sky Force might have a purpose other than box runs. Because honestly, it's like I don't really want to do episode one with them at all. Because they're just strictly worse than you cast in multiplayer. And if I have Sky Ramarl, for example, I would do much better solo with her. Oh, we did the SN glitch. Nice. I think I missed it there. menuing there, I didn't need to. Yeah, the ability for this to crit means it's faster than Pew Pew, at least. Better I do that than do nothing. It's like, wait a minute. I left it at 100, but it didn't die. So sad. At least the Kavoe eventually hit and murdered it. That's the important thing. <laughs> it was a little trolly, but I guess Kavoe got there in the end. Oh, 
Also, not sure what I have me focusing there for a second. Yeah, the crits with this are way better than my PP laser. Since there's six targets, I'm gonna PP laser. I'm gonna kill the zoo so it doesn't bother the force. I could switch weapons, but it's not worth the time menuing. position is to unlock the zoo and hit the satellite lizards. We want to do even damage when we're with forces rather than burst damage. Unless there's like no targets then you know anything goes of course. We'll go back for those badges later. Never happening, chat. This is so sad. Oh, I actually landed double demons there. That makes a big difference, actually. Three demons. I'm just gonna melee this down. There's enough chip damage dealt, it should work. charge arm, but that would make it teleport and make it more annoying for other players. I think I'm gonna choose not to do that. That's that's kind of the judgment call. Technically, I could Excalibur this. I guess there's nothing wrong with attempting it. Pretty quick. I want to come back over here for later. Does also hit them? It does, okay. Now I can charge on. You got to protect a group? You're like, nah, get off the group. Yeah, I also like being able to option select charge arm for the Marissa's. I like that my ATP is like actually capped. Did so much damage. Get ready to target the furthest targets if possible. I have no idea where the game is making me aim. Am I shooting a zoo? What was that? Like three rappies. One on your left, one in front. One on your right. No, target the zoo. It's like full screen. I I swear I don't understand the auto aim philosophy. I thought it was supposed to lock onto the closest target. Especially with shotgun, because it tends to swivel you a lot, but it didn't do that in that scenario. That's where I get confused with the inconsistencies with it. I just put a big question mark on the board when that happens. Um, I guess I could try to go for Spread Needle. Yeah, I mean, there's one that was like two character steps for me on any direction, and that chose the one that was in front of me by like 30 or 40 steps. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand when it does that. I don't, because usually what happens is if I'm too close on thing like Pew Pew Laser, what it'll end up doing is, uh, It'll swivel to those targets and it messes up my laser shots. But then other times, with similar weapons with very wide uh, radius, it still messes up.
really miss that many spread needles. That's unfortunate. Actually unlucky. 96% <laughs> lied to me, chat. Feel betrayed. He teleported and then exploded. Poor guy. The lasers are heat seeking. It was already over. There we go. I disrespect the Bowie on him. Die from that. Crazy. Let's fix that. Did it. I remembered to leave a tri fluid behind. Uh, I have definitely, I have definitely given up trying to hit. All okay, right, now you're just teleporting too much. I have given up trying to hit these things with spread needle. I don't know why it just doesn't want to connect. Kind of sad, really. It's not laser there, but whatever. <laughs> now let's go assist through. There we go. That's what should have happened the first time. Nice, somebody got that glass. Uh, I will volunteer to be face tank. I'm gonna drop tri-fluids. Do one here, one here. Oh, you have triple add-up? Nice. That works. Uh, salute me, chat. I'm going in, I'm face tanking. Look how confused they are. They didn't even get to do anything. If I back up just right, they don't really teleport that much. Although why they just teleported in the corner there is an absolute mystery. If anybody would like to explain what they were aiming at, I would love to know. Like, quick, assume the most logical position. Far corner away from everybody. on you, Goron Detonator. See, there we go. In the same scenario I just went into, that's what I thought the gun was going to do in the other room. There must have been, like, some magic distance where they were just allegedly too close. Whatever.
we're gonna start picking them off. Oh, he went the wall just as I went to kill him. Might be on you, team. He's not targetable for me. He's being Flappy Bird up there. Hard bullied by Rob Mar with Slicer of Fanatic. Another Galatine champ. At least I could say I tried to get backups for uh, stun locks. Ouch. Uh, that's fine. It's mostly near the team. Probably stay behind. I do slightly less laser damage. I'll donate whenever I see somebody do the bank blast. I sadly don't have it. Unless I just wanted to get bullied for meter, but that's probably fine. Yeah, I think uh, Imperameter has it. I heard it go off earlier back uh, two rooms ago. We'll see if they, they save up for the co-op. There we go. Donated. Yep. I knew. I was ready. Ooh, good damage. Very lucky, I could just Excalibur kill this boss. Also, Spinners, please leave me alone. I'd like to normal heavy special this boss out of existence if able. Oh, it's on the other side. That sucks. It's kind of unlucky. I think it's like 50 50 what side it's on. Come on. We'll just end it here. Oh, well. Maybe it's not. Maybe it just, I don't go to the center room enough. Maybe I just misremembered. There we go. I'll donate. <laughs> the Rage Dolphin is here. Damn, we got almost 400 XP a second. So this team comp, even though we were three people, was insanely efficient. Like, chat, we, we were beating TTF value of experience with this quest just now. With just a three-man team. Just to give you an idea of how powerful this quest is for leveling. So, legit actually just better than TTF. And I think by definition, just legit better than RT. At least for experience. Yeah, getting almost 400 XP a second is kind of insane. So just imagine when there's like another pew pew laser or another force, how fast it goes. Or honestly, any additional help on ground detonators or Astarks since they tend to waste time. So good. The next quest will level me again. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another game. So this will be the last one on green ID. And then chat, it'll be up to you what you would like to play. 
I think that's more than fair. We got our potentially dose of 27 Dorfons, and also technically Zoos. So sadly no V101 drop so far. So it was a worthy endeavor to try to get more for the team. So we got lucky in the sense that we got Saint Million because we want that for Galatine. But it didn't roll well, sadly. Sure thing. Alright, team has to step away for a little bit. I have something we could do while we wait for... I have the perfect quest for waiting a few minutes. Let's slash lobby. Do a couple CLJ sword runs. <laughs> it's perfect for stalling for time while still adding content. So we'll do like two. Exactly, it's Terrace Pharma. So we'll do a few of these. Then we'll let Chris at least hop in for one of them. Give him that chance for the CLJ. Okay. So we'll give them a little bit of time. Marco might even be back when we're done. Didn't see anybody else in the lobby, so I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed. Well, it's time to just absolutely bully these enemies. Up level the force a little bit more. by Ogil. Okay, I gotta learn how to position a little better in this quest. Because there's a way you could get him to just never do anything. The problem is, is I summon that other Gibbles. Like, this guy's glitched out. And that's good. Maybe that was the spot? Maybe I found quote-unquote the spot? The damage is real, though. Yum. I figure I don't need to hide to the side there if I just leave a freeze trap. If they start shielding, there's not much I could do. I could try to freeze trap them, but if, but if they just keep doing this, I, I can't do anything. There we go. That should work. GG. I guess I could try to freeze trap here. You get a freeze there, just so I could do this. Yeah, that seems like a very fair amount of damage being dealt. Thing. We'll do another one. Getting this character even more experience. Man, this character is so strong. E disgusting. I think the play there is to shoot the trap, put a free trap behind me, and then just berserk. Yeah, pretty much. So is the positioning if I line myself up with this trap? Is this the magic spot? Where they can't do anything? I mean, kind of? They just kind of killed themselves on me. I'll take that. Oh, I was like one step too far. That was my fault. I think positionally on the wall I might have been fine, but I was just like too far from it. Wait a little bit. Let him fall. Put a freeze trap down. Let it linger. 
eat the enemy. Goodbye, Gibbles. I saw that melee jab. I like how its graphic didn't load in for me. That was cute. Oh, Guy Gui, you're so buggy. Here, um. So much damage. Why though? Oh, that's pretty fast. We'll do at least one more. Figure to make more sense than waiting around. Squeeze in that little bit of XP. Oh, that was almost bad. Oh, it's went to Phantasmal World 3. I mean, I, I guess I could technically box run with him, but they don't really want to. Definitely, like, freeze trap here. Oh, I think he buffed. That's unfortunate. Now he's dead. Silly freeze trap, no going off. Yeah, I wonder if the goal is like right here. This stops them from jumping at me. So that's what it is. So Chad, if you look at the floor, see how there's little lines here? I think this is the visual cue for exactly where you need to stand. So uh, that was something I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong the other day. And see, like he's just glitching out. That's exactly what I want to see in that quest. There we go, we have evolved. We are learning how to manipulate them a little better. That was a glitchy teleport on my screen. Come on, game. You gotta, you gotta give me more of a visual cue than suddenly they appear. Nice freeze. Oh, took like one step too far. Ah, can get through your dumb little shield if I'm in range. I'll do another one. Listen. <laughs> We're just waiting on people. A sword? Uh, I'm assuming people aren't free still, so we'll just keep going. Nice little 30,000 or so XP gain. Yeah, th this character kind of makes me want to get a Hue cast army. I know I got a little, little spoiled with my vice, but like, it's just raw ATP is so much fun. Wow, he actually died before the freeze trap detonated. Yeah, okay, we're gonna stand on these little lines on the floor. As long as we do that, I don't think I could be targeted. I mean, worst comes to worst, they do that, and I don't really care, right? Like, who cares about that? Saves me a walk. Goodbye. Bonk. Uh, if I seems like the preferred choice. LK is really strong if I can hit him while frozen. But the ability to go through their shield with multiple shots is actually more important. Welcome back, Chris. We'll do an SJS attempt before we go back to the other things. I figured it'd be the perfect quest that only takes a few minutes to do. 
Esmerga. Isn't that a... That's a video game character. Is that a Fire Emblem character? It sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. It's weakened in one. The the person that the banner at the top. I just remembered. It was the Black Knight. The one that they kind of forgot, honestly, for the most part. Oh, I think Marco's back. We'll do two of these, and then we'll go back to one episode four one, I guess. And then I guess we could try to go for Heaven Striker while episode four is still here. I had to think about that. I was like, uh... That character was, like, sadly not really relevant. They show up in one, then I think they show up later. No, in Parameter. I mean, Pesmerga. Pesmerga is a Black Knight in Suikoden 1. Yeah, they don't really do anything with him. He's just kind of ominous and mysterious, and then they kind of dropped his plot, honestly. After two Suikoden games. Like, oh, look at this. Look at this mysterious relationship he has with the enemy general. And we'll never explain it before the series ends. Just GG, I guess. Oh, somebody shot it. I'll do that. Vice is definitely the way to go here. Goodbye, Gaigui. Okay. Let's do two more. Honestly, it's such a fast quest, I might as well do two more. And we'll go back to one more episode four. Maybe we'll do... Probably just pure Heaven Striker or something. Nice, Marco's at 906L. I like not getting debuffed, yeah. Yeah, it lets me get a lot closer with Vice. Normally I would not get that close with Vice. So they're alluding to uh, the fact that Gaigui will cast a debuff on you, which is an annoying waste of time. Especially if you only have S-Reds for buffs. But in multiplayer, <laughs> you know, the the exact way you should be doing this, wink. Uh, and we're fine. So we were talking before. See how there's these little lines next to this trap? This seems to be like the magic spot. If you're within the lines, like you're coloring within the lines, they can't jump at you. They have to walk at you. Like, see how that guy had to do a weird jump to get to us? I'm like, I will take that over anything else. I think if you're slightly below the lines, it causes the other one to not jump at you at all on top of that. So if you want a more comfortable run, I think that's where it is. Rip my trap. I tried. It keeps getting shot. Profound sadness. I actually am just two buttoning these things. Kind of insane. Yeah, like, how did- why did that one inst- I got silver badged. Wow. Why did that one instantly teleport? I really want to know, chat. Like, what is going on with Gaigui? Does it have some spawning issues? Hi. One more. That way we could say we gave chat a fair chance.
try this again. I think I gotta get a little closer for this to work. Or I'll shoot the box. <laughs> I mean, that also works, I guess. Alright, so... So we have a visual cue now. So it's this line. Should stop him from jumping. Yeah, see, so he's glitching on us. We So this is the exact line, if you look back in the VOD. You need to stand on. That's good. Learning has occurred. I got badged. Brutal. I've given up free strapping this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna berserk. <laughs> like there, he just glitch teleported. Okay, if they're gonna glitch teleport, I'm just gonna give up. There's there's no sense of trying to time it. I don't know what causes that, other than it's annoying. Damn the refreeze. Stop using freeze. We'll kill it if it unfreezes. There we go. There we go. Yeah, these enemies get really annoying if left alone. I'll try to weaken them a bit for the team. Okay. Let's go back to other runs. Let's do a quick look on Chris Mergo. What other sweeping ends did he appear in? I know he's mentioned. I'm assuming he was in two. I don't think he was in the other ones. Yeah, so he's only in two. Yeah, they did give up after two games. Y is it Uber? Uber is the one his, who's his rival. I was gonna say you Bell, but I'm like, wait a minute, that's Yu Gi Oh! I guess we'll do one more boss rush into whatever. Yeah, we didn't even really play with him as a character. Like, I know we got him in the party. I think he might be one of our least used. Bell is also a star of destiny. I don't maybe. No, it's not it's not you Bell, it's you Burr. Because you you recruit him. He's the he's the guy in the black hat. Oh. Why did my controller fail? Hello? Oh, that's weird. Anyway, we recovered. Like, you technically play as... You Bell... Or Uber, excuse me, now I'm getting confused. In Suikin in 3. But, like, they never go into Pesmerga again after that. I, I think they just kind of forgot, to be honest. Because they were setting up the, the guy that looks like the black-headed gentleman to be the, the demon. And his role is more explained, but it never goes into Pesmerga. I don't know what that means, launch Dragon Ball treatment. I'll just nod. I don't watch. So your DBZ references are lost on me. I know like some of the common characters and I cannot tell most of them apart. Listen, it's not my fault the char the, the artist keeps drawing the same character with blonde hair. It's just like they're like, look at all these unique hair designs and colors, immediately just make them yellow hair. Just okay. Well, and plus they have fusion forms too. I'm not. I'm not keeping them. I'm not keeping them apart, Chad. <laughs> Just let you know. I'm like, I I can recognize like Goku Black. I think 
because this outfit is very distinct compared to some of the others. But if you if you were asking me which one is a fusion or not, I'm like, I have no idea. It's gonna nod my head. I remember seeing the DBZ fighting game, which is the only reason I know some of the characters, and I was laughing at how many versions of, like, just Goku there are. <laughs> just like, oh my god. There's so many Gokus and so many forms. And then there's characters that are like Goku, but aren't Goku, as explained to me briefly. Yeah, I was like, uh, I'm like, okay. Oh, I was slightly too far up. If I was two steps away, I would have dodged. Unfortunate. Oh, well, he landed the demons in the end, I guess. I remember vaguely being told that I think Sonic and DBZ writers lived together briefly, potentially in college. That's why there's a lot of similarities between the uh, collecting of the Dragon Balls versus collecting of the Chaos Emeralds, the Super Sonics, the Super Saiyans. Babudas. We got a Cannon Rouge this event. So far, still no Heaven Strikers. I might just go for one Heaven Striker quest after this. As I said before, chat's then free to request something. I know one of Chris's requests will be SJS, so I'm sure he's happy we got a few of them in. We'll consider that request number one. But more can be had, of course. I was like, I feel like they didn't appear visually until they passed me. That actually confused me. Also, I can't seem to hit him. That was weird. I wasn't even getting misses for the most part. Just wasn't hitting. Weird. Guess he was too wedged. Here's where it would make sense to charge arm. I could chip the Astar and just finish off the remainders here. sides here. That was a positional error on my part. Should go to my corner, quote-unquote. Honestly, Charger might also be the right call here. Yeah, it was. I gotta back up slightly so the other ones get in front of me. Yeah, 
damage though. Here, um... My little mini fireball should help. Let's see if I can get a slicer going. Uh, I got at least one. Oh, getting lasered sucks. I'm just gonna brute force them. They don't have enough health left. Stupid laser. Any Eclairus asked for remote battery? No. But welcome, remote battery. Only disappointment. Actually insane, we haven't seen one. I'm still convinced they removed it from the game. You can't tell me otherwise. I'm gonna back up slightly so I'm in a better position for the next wave. I think right here should be good. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But so far, still no Heaven Strikers either, or Galatine. No V101s today. We got one yesterday, though. Yeah, we're just making sure that Marissa dies. Actually, this is what I want. There we go. Not bad. No, no, oh, oh, never mind. Alright, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna say future future note. If you're a hunter, your job is not to pull the zoos. Make sure you kill the Gorn detonators. <laughs> I'm just like, they're like, we have the zoos, don't worry about it. Rangers can also do it. We gotta immerse the double A before Dwarf Hunter Claire, that's so sad. Yeah, AAA is here. Welcome Tiggy, hope you're doing well. I'm 31, we made it to falls. Yeah, pretty much. I was gonna say, wait, Tiggy, that quickly. <laughs> oh, that, that seems more... <laughs> that seems more accurate. Just shout fireball repeatedly. <laughs> Emar brings dark flow. One force is a dedicated healer. The trolling commences. Oh, I'm slightly too close, I think. That's fine. Dark flow, good one. Damn. Man, it keeps getting hit right as the demon's gonna hit. It's unlucky. Sorry, in the next room, I'm not waiting. No worries, Marco. That was a very rude teleport.
I'm still surprised they made it 11.31 into uh, Falls. <laughs> that, that seems fast for three forces. Did someone uh, stun lock uh, Vault up? Chris AFKing right in the middle of the room. Brave soul. Well, if Gurdabubu pulls him, do what we could do. Yeah, Tiki. So far, no dwarf on the clears, which is sad. Chris got through that without getting hit is a mystery. Yeah, so we'll let the, the cast go first. We'll do support fire. I'd like to give a little bit of time just to make sure they have no targets. They're like, now it's safe to go in. What are they gonna do? Just walk in circles and hit each other? Who cares? Freeze. Yeah, I would say it's the hunter. Just try to stay near the center because usually the bad things happen here. So we'll know it'll be, um, what is it, double Goron detonator in a moment. I'll do my best to crowd clear. No worries, Chris. We gotta prepare for the Marissa's in the middle. <laughs> I don't remember this playing in the game, but I like the song. What is this song? Rising up. Dang. Little batch, nice. Also, I'm in the wrong corner. I guess I could make do. I could try the opposite corner, see how it works. Normally, I'm straight ahead. Like, literally, if I walk in a straight line, that's where I normally am. Nice level up. Somewhat relevant. Oh, I got accuracy. That's actually relevant. I'm getting close to just not needing double centurion anymore. Oh, we touched 370 experience already. That's disgusting. Okay. So we probably don't have enough time for this quest, but we can try new mop up operation three. If worst comes to worst, I will literally just charge arm everything out of existence if I need to. I'm not super worried about that quest. You know what? That's good luck. I don't really want conjure you. Despite his increased chance of appearing and trolling a green ID run. Alright, so we got like four Galatine attempts today. Not bad. Rip Chris. Would indeed. So I think it will leave Marco behind in the center of the room. Is enough health that Spinner should definitely not one-shot him anymore? The level ups were pretty crucial. I think the, the Pew Pews and Force will go this way. No, I don't, I don't really care. It, it has nothing to do with anything on my end. Literally just some internet connection issue all night. Even all the way to 3 in the morning, it didn't recover. I'm surprised it was actually working this morning. 
But it's not something I want to spend time on. I have better things to do. I will choose to do this. Yeah. I mean, so far it's just been fine. Is it, I'll see little indicators if things go awry. Yeah, two shots there is a little greedy. I try to go for it. Oh no, it got hit. No. Bye. So my rule of thumb is if you see somebody get knocked down, don't finish the boss. Because that, that'll happen. As I was going to say, I was not the last one to shoot on that one. We could try to... Uh, we can't salvage it anymore. I was going to say, a slicer shot would have saved it, I think. But it would have been tight. Everybody else can go to the center of the room. I got this. I'm good. We'll finish the boss. Almost got through. <laughs> well, I got Mag Blast. Stop tornadoing me. You're already dead. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> what an actual jerk. He's like, oh, well, I'm going to go. But before I go, let me troll real hard. Oh, I did it too early. I wanted, I wanted to troll the boss. So close. I almost did it. I wasn't expecting him to actually laser there. Oh, well. Yeah, you see how close it was? Like, I was pretty close. Oh, well. I wanted to break the cutscene, but alas. Oh, wait. Jiggle hair. Cutscene's still broken. That, you know what? That counts. We did it. Bulletina has the jiggle hair. The game was really thinking about that. Did you see that? It's like a solid second and a half pause. 40 hit laser, no special. That sucks. So yeah, again, almost 400 XP a second. So like a really solid TT, like a really solid TTF is like about 375 we saw the other day. So we're still beating TTF at XP, which is very funny. I'm going to quickly make another game, and this will be the final episode for. And then after that, I need the chat's input as to what they would like to do. Since I've been trying to focus on episode four during even beat, since uh, it's worth a lot of XP, the hunts are usually pretty good, etc. And every level up matters for a growing hue cast. You're doing well, Tiggy. Say goodbye to that flame garment. Alright, so now this is just purely a Heaven Striker V101 run. Let's see if we could get one. Higher, but okay. You gotta improve that to tired, but good. Gotta get Tiggy some items later. Get out of here, Goron. Welcome, Diego. Hope you're doing well. What soundtrack is this, asked Tiggy? It is Streets of Rage 4. I 
I decided to put on the whole soundtrack after hearing some music of the hero. Well, welcome, Diego. Hopefully, things have been treating you well. We're just going on, you know, mass genocide of alien life forms on a planet. The usual. Glad you've been doing well. It's actually really good, Tiggy. You should listen to the character. We'll, we'll go back to the character select theme just for you, Tiggy. I guarantee you'll be bobbing your head. It's one of my favorite songs. The DLC music is actually surprisingly good, too. I recommend you also listen to the extended soundtrack. How far are we in the soundtrack right now? Only half hour left. When we get around, we'll, we'll let the character select an intro play. And then I'll see where the DLC is in the list. Is this hour long video, or t almost two hour long video, doesn't have the uh, DLC songs? Oh, picked up something other than the badge. Whoops. Yeah, it's like a whole bunch of composers, Tiggy. So you could probably find a few fa favorites, including uh, T Lopes. So they have some really solid songs in the game. The bees. I need to go deeper in the room. It's definitely worth me doing that, because otherwise we lose like whole minutes in this room, which is terrible. Yeah, the, the far satellite lizards are the most annoying thing for the forest, because they want to stay exactly where... Um, and parameter is. So for me, I just have to remember to go do that. <laughs> no Heaven Striker so far. Wait, where's the zoo? Oh, there it is. I was like looking for it. <laughs> I don't even see it on the radar. Actually, you know what? Just for Tiggy, I'm going to pause the soundtrack brief. We're going to listen to these two songs just for Tiggy. Not keep them in suspense. wrong way oops bump my controller there for a second they're actually just getting deleted or yaois direct stage theme, maybe. It's overall really, really good. I wish I liked the gameplay and the main story a little more. I I actually didn't mind like the challenge mode one where you try to survive. But I, I just wasn't in love with rerunning the story in 4, sadly. It was like there were certain enemy types I just really didn't enjoy fighting. 
think they, they kind of brought me out of what I felt was Streets of Rage to me. Maybe that has to do with the uh, Streets of Rage 3 influence, which was a game I did not like. In particular, a lot of characters having guns and explosives. I just found kind of annoying after a while. I'm like, I'm okay if you have it on a boss, because, I mean, that's always been a thing, but, like... Some of the attacks they have. Yeah, I had fun with some of the early bosses, and I felt kind of mixed about, like, the motorcycle fight. Yeah, I, ch I think I played the US version, Tiggy, and I, I did not enjoy it. I never got used to the dash mechanics. I don't have, like, a manual for the game, so trying to figure out those, like, inputs for the special moves is annoying. And by default, they don't really teach you them either, so I have to have, like, a whole move list up. Otherwise, you have to spend health in order to use them, and I'm like, this is just really annoying. I don't know why they did this. Oh, yeah, I tried. I tried, Tiki. I literally was like... <laughs> I, I remember briefly doing it, and I was like, man, what are these inputs? His inputs don't make any sense. Yeah, I don't I'm not gonna call myself like a, a super fighting game fan, but at least I did play with like joystick and things like that. So I took it somewhat seriously, but I don't think I ever rose to like a, a solid level. But man oh man, trying to input those moves over and over and over again was really exhausting. I'm like, we're just making it complicated for the sake of complication. It's not enjoyable. Oh, do they? I, I, I just felt like the game was just kind of off in general. Like, even playing on low difficulty, I was like, this game difficulty feels way too high in the US version. It felt like I was playing hard mode, just trying to learn the game. I, I just, I'm just like, you know, this makes sense for people that are comfortable with the game, and I'm like, their damage and combos are like, really, really way too high. I'm just trying to learn the game, and I feel like everything is a struggle. Especially getting used to like, the new movement options, like learning when to dash and stuff like that. So there's just like so many new things that were not in the other systems and then things that did exist got like nerfed into the ground so it's like trying to figure out what the meta is blind was really rough the easiest difficulty in the US version is harder than the hardest difficulty in the Japanese version it makes sense it's really really tuned up for no reason but here you go Tiggy this character select is really good I would, I would not be surprised if you add this to a playlist but welcome Helkley This is up there for one of my favorite character selects across all games. No contest. It's top five. It just gets better and better. I know. Like, you're already bobbing along and you're like, wait, we're not even at the best parts yet. Damn, this is a good theme. Uh, I'm out of revives. I'm gonna say you're on your own team. Well, we got two beats left. We might finish the quest before it runs out. Yeah, maybe I'll like it more if I play the Japanese version or something. Plus, I remember the third game removed a lot of characters, right? Due to censorship. Where's that the second game? Could be both, I guess, technically. The no characters like Ash were not playable in the US across pretty much any version. Yeah. 
There we go. I vaguely know Streets of Rage things. Here we go, Tiggy. Team's kicking in now. It's one of, this is one of those games I just let it sit on the character select screen. I was like, wow, this is one of your starting songs. So good. <laughs> we got half a beat left. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. You teleport on me. Get out of my face. Oof. Bronze badge by Power of Goron on green ID. That's 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 just mean. Awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't revive. Just be careful, team. Hope this is getting low. Ooh. Ooh, we're squeezing by chat. We have one wave left. Oh, it's almost out. At least it's not too bad. If it, if it runs out here, it's not the end of the world. We we basically cleared the quest. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of a tick left. Oh, it just wore off. That's that's fine. I think Chad would agree. If, of all the rooms to wear off on, this is fine. Scalibur time. Slap, slap, slap. Oh, you bet I'm berserking. Get him out of here. 428 experience a second. Sanity. What a quest. Also, even though I'm using charge, I ended up with a lot of extra money. Put some away. So many badges and photon drops I can't really get rid of. How are we doing in terms of PDs, by the way? 37 plus 99? Nice. So the event at least is going to make sure that I could get uh, challenge mode weapons. Just from what we've done. I have mono fluid in my inventory. Crazy. Oh, yeah, team. What would you like to do next? We got Marco up to a very substantial 120. Probably added like 70 ATP to him so far. Stream balance was the star of destiny. I don't think so, Blue Donna. I think you're confused. Depending on who wants to hop in or hop out. Don't mind. Trying to do Skyly CCA. Hmm. Anyway, let's go back to the soundtrack we're listening to. I'm gonna skip it to the next song. Blue Forest and Purple Caves. Oh, Tiggy. Do not recommend. <laughs> Nothing else here. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, uh, I guess team. I could do. I was gonna say, depending on who wants to stick around, I'm not sure if remote wants to hop in or out. Let me know remote. But I think we could potentially do some CCA or TTFs. A 
guess I can host some CCA. So I'll tentatively select a yellow ID character. I could technically bring in a yellow ID force, but if there's already a force, it doesn't make sense to double up. What's us doing a solo perp cave right now? Oh man, that's crazy. No worries, Tiggy. Uh, let's let's get a yeah, let's get a run in. I guess on episode two, and eventually we'll just switch over to TTF or something. Figure a couple run of these wouldn't hurt. Then I'll take a food break at some point. Not like immediately looking to stop. Potentially in parameter slash Chris. I know Chris said he had to step out briefly. Give chat a moment or two. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sure, I'm all stocked up. Looks like I'm good there. At the weapon store, because why not? Nothing of interest. I didn't see if in parameters that they were going on break or whatever. Check the dialogue, maybe I missed something. Oh. Never mind, it got cleared. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Chris is here. Humar says in parameter. You want me to bring in the humor? Oh, you bring it in the humor. Hmm. In which case, I don't really want to be Ranger. Er, yeah. As much as I want to be a cast, I should probably switch who I'm playing. Let me let me switch into uh force. So let me log out. I think we're gonna need debuffs, because I'm assuming most of the team is just gonna ATP. So trying to do it with only level 20 is just kind of rough. Just makes more sense to do this. <laughs> I almost thought you were asking me to play Humor again, because I did play Humor into this earlier. Uh, make a new game with this character. Actually good to go. I don't think my items really matter that much. Yeah, they really don't. I could check the weapon store as a joke, I guess. There's a 45 hit in there, but if it's not 50, I don't care. Okay. meter a moment and then we'll get started still using basic frame should probably just slot up a cloak for him at some point it's 
Okay, we got good chances at Ellen take combat. A very small chance of Twin Blaze. Lava's Cannon. It's not bad. Tower will technically have more of some of those Ubers. This quest just makes a little more sense. I guess I could just regard a spam. First thing that happens is I act as a freeze trap for the group. Nice, they got a black badge. I was trying to believe in the pipe dream again. Better than trying to hit it with freeze, because I don't really want to interrupt the group's uh, combos. I actually killed something. Did a chat. <laughs> I killed something as a force in episode 2 with Tex. How rare. I want to run from that Gibbles. you team. So just a reminder, there's going to be Miracle in the middle followed by Miracle on either side. So if you put, if you picture this one as a, in the middle piece, there's going to be one to the left and to the right of it. So just be prepared for that. I'll try to stunlock them a little bit. And after that, I'll try to stay up here to deal with uh, the other enemies. Just a reminder, there's going to be a bunch of waves, but eventually it's going to go into a line of geese. When a line of geese occurs, focus your attention towards the back of the room in the right corner. That, then we just murder that miracle real quick. I still need to remember which wave is specifically the triple um, miracles. I think it's after the second set of Sinnohs. So just be aware that there's going to be a triangle formation. Get out of here, Miracle. I thank you for helping kill that. There's going to be one... Basically, the top of the triangle is where I'm about to stand. You could picture the base of the triangle on either side from there. I don't think it's this group, but it's the next time we see Sinnohs. will lead into the awful, awful episode 2 pattern that I absolutely hate. Hate it, chat. Hate the triangle triangular form. The only one I don't like more than that is the cross formation um uh, murder flowers. Just cause it's like, oh, are you trying to play solo? Die. And it is found hard of nice. You got a little bit of time before something bad happens. As I said before, I think there's one more Sinnoh wave. Yeah, okay. So after this, get ready. Just get in a position. Think of the triangle. I'm standing at the top of the triangle for your visual. I'll try to stun law. But I'm going to need assistance on the different lilies. Thank you, 
team. There we go, Chad. I, re I remembered one of the formations so that we don't just <laughs> randomly die to nonsense. There's one more triangular wave we have to deal with. I will do my best to try to remember where it is in this mess of enemies. It, I know it's three waves from the end, but I just forget what precedes it. The miracle here doesn't really matter. That's kind of instantly. I think it's going to be Gibbles in the middle, so I'm going to move out of the middle. And then it'll be Gibbles at the top. Yeah, Gibbles in the middle. Yeah, we're going to do our best just to Robarda spam. There we go, I got a freeze. I'm gonna debuff so the team doesn't explode. I don't think we're quite at the wave. We're getting close. What was the wave before? Was it also Sinnohs before them? It might have been Sinnohs right before them. I'm racking my brain for where the triangle happens. This is fine. Single miracle you can just kind of react to. Or the triangle one that's a problem. He's shipping away. Nice. Mm. Might be after this wave. So there's going to be, I believe, the top of the triangle is where I'm walking to now, and then the base will be on the opposite side, in the corners. Let's get ready for it, Chad. Oh, I'm sorry, there's gi I'm sorry, there's Gibbles first. But I'm still, I'm still not trustworthy of it. Alright, so what is the wave right before the triangle? We're very close, we're within two waves, for sure. Because we're almost done with the quest, given the timer. Yeah, okay, so it's Gibbles. It's Gibbles, that's the port. Okay. Huh. Let me know. After this, it's just going to be some real easy cleanup. So it'll be Sinnohs into one Miracle, one Guy Weave, uh, one Gibbles, and then the run is over. So we're, we're pretty much done. We're going to finish it around probably like 8 minutes, 20 seconds, which is fine. Should I just start going for me good? Try to save some time, maybe. I can't believe that freeze actually worked. Oh, Robardo, you're so silly. But we finished three seconds faster than expected. Good job, team. We'll do a few of these. That was much less upsetting with four characters. Yeah, it's just two people, it's just hard to deal with three flowers. Like, it's doable. Chris and I were doing it off stream. It's just very annoying. And if you mess up even slightly, it's just GG. I think three is the minimum I would do this quest, because you could have one per, per murder flower. But you're not worrying about making sure you got your freeze traps and ensuring your back is to one enemy as you shoot another try to lock it down. It's not as intense. And with the ability to debuff, it also doesn't take as long to kill them. So I can play to the strengths of Hugh cast Humor by just debuffing enemies. That speeds up the run pretty significantly. I think we'll do two more and then we'll switch over. If Chet wants to do RT or TTF, I'll probably do that. You got a 60 hit Garrisol? Wow. Oh, we must be in the Mr. Y theme, yeah. You're just listening to this earlier. 
Love Tiki Babylon. Where's Chris? I was gonna say, you ascended to Ramar accuracy. Truly the promotion of all promotions. Glad Tiggy's liking the music. Yeah, the boss music in this game is really good. So for Tiggy's reference, this is Mr. Y. I actually got the freebies, nice. Oh my gosh, my EDK work. <gasps> EDK work twice? How rare. Oh my gosh, I'm actually assisting. Get the camera. Didn't tell that that was me that killed, or? Probably not. At least no speedles. Nice, that was me for sure. Take that. Form of instant death blast. I was gonna say, sh sure would suck for the miracle if somebody was spamming Roberto on them. Stupid miracles. Oh, GG. Yeah, you're not missing with Gear Soul in that freeze. It's like having a 20 hit Gear Soul as a Ramar. Eventually, I would like one of those, but I don't think it's going to happen in this event, sadly. Not a 60 hit, I just mean any hit Gear Soul. Even min hit, to be honest. It's not like I wouldn't use it on, like, Newcastle or whatever. Oh, they're just actually getting ruined right now. Oh, the insta worked. Here we go. Time save. These enemies waste so much time. Yeah, when you have a high level Robarda, this is just nonsense. I'm still bobbing my head to the music, I'm not gonna lie. Please. <laughs> How many? Oh, come on. I failed every vegan. Anyway, just prepare for the miracle. I'll do my best to unlock it. Nice and dead. Oop, what thunder? Don't mind if I do. Although, sadly, because it came from Miracle, that should have been an LNK. So sad. I got PD'd. Oh, I'm getting bullied. Leave me alone. I'm gonna say, joke's on you. You can't disarm me. I wasn't wearing anything to begin with. Come on, Miget. Miget failed me. Tempo. Very interesting. Alright, so just get ready for murder flowers after this. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the stun lock I'm looking to achieve. Let the team wail on it, kill him. Come to get wrecked. I picked up a trap vision, gross. Can me get hit the trap? Take that trap. Wow, actually just froze instantly, GG. On me again. Fortunately, I have enough help to survive that. That could have been real bad. Ouch. The refreeze, got him. So we're just gonna spam Rebarta here, hopefully get some freezes. Oh, I actually got the remaining two with freeze, nice. Is the team some easy pickups and clears? I love this forest. I don't ever need to know where the miracle is. It's just like, listen, oh, th for that single one, I'm like, listen, Rebarda's gonna reach. Just trust me. We'll be good. Getting actually massacred out here. I almost killed it via tech damage. There we go. Actually, just work that thing over. Start defending there. Me good. You know, it's like a basically 10% chance, but I'm gonna try to believe. Alright, so we know after this is gonna be the murder flowers in an inverse triangle formation. I'll do my best to slow them down. Mission accomplished. But we're gonna get to this point with almost seven minutes still on the clock. That's kind of insane. Wow, and they got frozen. GG. I think this was just overall a faster clear. I think some of it is due to me using Megan a bit more. I say, like, again, these enemies waste a lot of time. I might as well switch for it. Like there, I just saved like three seconds. Unfreeze the Gibbles. Yeah, wow, look at that clear time. That was almost a minute, 13 seconds faster. That was a good time. That tri fluid. Let's do one more. At least level this character up once. Oh, Marco almost at a thousand HP. You cast buff enough. Pause. Where do the new soundtracks kick? So we listen to the final song. Here we go. Here's the DLC. And this is also one of my favorites. Hopefully, Tiki enjoys. Reddy didn't block my shot. I think I would have gotten the kill there. There we go.
big oof on oh, Megan, please. <laughs> Megan, please. It's literally a 50 50. Although with my Megan, it's probably like a 46% chance, but whatever. Still getting trolled. Nice freeze trap. Ooh, double Megan. Okay, that made up for earlier. Double Megan goes. I'll take that for sure. I have enough time to lure them into the freeze. That's gross. I think that's the right play to delay my hit because I want to make sure to delay the recoil on them. Give the chat a chance to first strike. So maybe if the team is totally ready for it, I'll probably do that instead. Megan, please. <laughs> okay, well, a bit late for that, Megan, but I, I guess it kind of works still. I've got nothing to do here. I'm going to spam Rebarda. That works. Hello, Miracle. It's a little further to the center than I realized I was. Let me back up slightly. Yeah, on these 40 percenters. So sad. Actual heartbreak every time. I tried. Team said no. That plays the lore into the Rebarda. Oh, I'm dead. They got triggered a little early. Yeah, that was unfortunate. So what can happen is if somebody goes into melee range, they can behave a little weird. So he attacked and then immediately shot, where normally he'd be in the stun longer. Just fine, I just have to react to it. I didn't react to it. Megan, please. <laughs> so sad. Hello, Miracle. Yeah, and most of the songs that I do like are from T-Lopes. Like, even this one is T-Lopes. From the DLC. The song goes in. Ooh. Seven Megan fails in a row. That's kind of painful. I'm not going to lie. That is really painful. Alright, I got two there to almost make up for earlier. Almost. I don't want to get punched. Wait. How did I only get two whistle war? Game please. And a distance distance issue. Stupid like immediate teleports. Oh. Uh... Could have been a twin blaze. What a shame. If chat wants to do uber hunt, hunts later, let me know. We technically did SJS today. And technically, this is Lava's Cannon. We did a few, but we didn't do like Psycho Wand or some of the others that chat wants to go for. If you want me to humor you with like a blue ID run of something, let me know. I got a hit percentage frozen shooter during the event. 
I would probably like more, but that's something I could probably do off stream if I really want to grind it. Okay, game, you really got to give me Rebarda Freeze here. Okay, I was going to say, that, that was just getting into the realm of ridiculousness to hit him like 12 times, no freeze. Give me a break. There we go. Yeah, when they're frozen, everybody's accuracy should be so good. out a little. Nice freeze. Sadly, I think my Megan failed us here. I lost a lot of time, just easily, easily like 12 seconds lost from just not landing a single Megan. It's kind of painful. I tried. The dart is found. S parts, nice. Anything the team is requesting before we hop into the TTF portion of the runs? Our meter needs a short break. Short thing. Hopefully Donna got a little tankier. Makes it a bit easier for him to do episode 4. Various Ubers. We did SJS, that was Lava's cannon. Did you want me to humor you with like a blue ID hunt in a forest? Huh. We'll do a Heaven Punisher run for chat. Uh, let me play... I guess my blue ID character that needs levels. I don't know if I have a spread needle, but I should have some other things to give to the character. I got a cannon rouge, sure. Let's see what I got. Need to remember their shortcuts aren't set up properly. Shooters better than nothing. Oh, I have a deep part. She should probably have that and upgrade it. Oh, this this is definitely one of my favorite songs.
Although, it doesn't have any slots. Hmm. This, this should work. Yeah, I wish I had one more charge arm. Not sure where they are. I know I own them, I just don't see them. Alright, so we gotta get some ad slots. Oh, sorry chat, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that, team. Uh, should be good. Actually, chat will need to humor me for one second. I need ad slots. There's our million of bronze badges. Good enough. I'm gonna briefly go to the bad shop, and then we're gonna restart it. So we have a D parts for her, because this is kind of like the one that you would use. But it has no slots, sadly. Yes, yeah, so at least now I can wear the Heavenly Battle. It's not going to do it a ton of damage, but I'm looking mostly to play a support role here. It actually doesn't have enough accuracy as it is to land it. That's kind of funny. Here, Mr. Ad Slot Man, I need you. Oh, I think they fixed the uh, ad slot bug from last year. Remember when they said they, gonna, they were going to raise the price and they definitely forgot? <laughs> I was not going to report it. <laughs> it's like, listen, if it's a bug in my favor, it's fine. Can I get one more or am I capped? Oh, I got nice. Oh, did I? Oh, I canceled it. Never mind. I keep forgetting by default, it's not what I think it is. It's so annoying. Speaking of which, like when I'm trying to mash through that dialogue and I get the other option. I was thinking I just shouldn't have had enough, and it's because I shouldn't have. I think that's all I can afford. Okay, so now at least I could double Heavenly Arm. There's a big difference in accuracy and do a Heavenly Power. Ah, Flash Lobby. Big power upgrade. So I'll have to get one more D parts at some point during the event. Not that it's very hard to we just play hard mode or whatever briefly. Well, this is the track you heard before. Nice, nice. I'll, I'll, I'll later keep the hand-me-down abilities. I guess I'll have to get another Cannon Rouge at some point today, or tomorrow. Because I, I do have a lot more Rangers now, so I think I do actually need one more. So we, we found one during the event already, but I think we'll do it when it's even beat. Piggy dancing along. So yeah, I'm expecting to just spam my freeze traps. We'll do a few of these runs, just to justify the time spent. Maybe we'll do an event quest, and then we'll just do Terrell's Ego. Because Terrell's Ego blue, at least we can get, uh... Potentially some nonsense.
Oh, did everybody bring in X? That's awkward. Oh boy, this is gonna be a slow clear then. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I thought Chris was still raw moral. Rip. Rest in peace, my beautiful health bar. What the heck are these buttons? Yeah, well, <laughs> while I'm climbing here, I need this. I'm dead. We're not. Ooh. We'll take that. There we go. Yeah, damn. I'm just, I'm just not going to do anything damage team. I kind of need those buffs. We'll try to leave it to the team to carry. Sadly, it might actually be better for me to Cannon Rouge here. What kind of hunt is this? It's awkward, I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah, I, I just literally don't do any damage with this guy, so it doesn't even make sense to use it. My ATP is super bad. Keep in mind, I don't have materials on this character. But we'll probably fix it later. I was expecting more to be a support role with traps and using my constant levels to retrap. Rip. I'll switch out after this. It's, uh... No, it's it, it's too. It doesn't make sense to restart. We'll just finish the run. level during the quest. Yeah, because the most I have is this. Damage is okay. Well, interesting, if you don't have it identified, it just does a normal shot. That's kind of funny. On the plus side, it's very easy for me to trap shoot with this thing. Just level up. Oh. Note to self, identify frozen shooters so it's special works. Yeah, don't worry about buffing me, my damage isn't worth it. Shenanigans happen with sacrifice. I'll, I'll humor chat with one more, but I'll, I'll have to bring in a force or something. Level this character later. I love trap shooting with this thing, it's so dumb. Like, oh, was something vaguely near me? Kaboom. Case in point. Hope you're doing well, Promethean. Look at that, that's like, that's like almost 40% of my health in one hit. Jokes on you. I put my free strap down already. This is a confused trap situation. 
doing okay. We sadly didn't get anything too crazy. We got a... The closest we got was a Mega level 30 for us. I actually want that. Right? We officially have acquired Mega level 30 and Grants level 30 before we've seen a single dwarf on a clear. I would just like to say that is like actually shenanigans. Can I can I officially declare shenanigans? We have gotten two level 30 techniques before a single dwarf on a clear has been sighted. Like that's actually BS. I <laughs> just like to state that. And they were both in the hunt that we were doing for Dwarf on a Clear, so I'm not even considering other non-episode war quests. Actually shenanigans. Yeah, my health is super low. It'll be perfect for mines if I want to bring her in there. Not that I want to do blue ID mines offhand. I hover around a nice sweet spot of about 650. It means I can't get blasted by Barans. Oh, Angie Fist. I have one trap left. I'm gonna save it for a little bit later. I can't believe I got a kill. I got two kills with this character. Hell yeah. You know what? I might as well just throw fire traps out. It probably does more damage than my melee. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Do it. Need to get her a spread needle and a charge arm. I think I have spare charge arms, they're just not on my share bank, sadly. We'll have to fix that between streams. I wish she'll be a little better equipped. I'm so close to getting my traps back. Right, so I'm guaranteed to get my traps back now, I'm pretty sure. I could support to put a freeze trap here. I might leave her with the Sato, honestly. I'm usually not looking to wear my Sato mag. Yeah, I'll need to take a little break closer to one. Pick something up. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Just have to go like a block. Uh, it is odd 7:35. It is not that close. There we go. Sadly, no Hilda Taurus. Right. I'm bringing in a real character. I'll leave them with what they have on, honestly. Losing a ranger ball is not the end of the world, because I think my other one's already on the other character. It really matters. Dory Fool. Remember to Angie Fist, too. I don't need that. I'll leave her with the Disco Brave, man. Fine. Let me swap out. We'll do two of these. I'll humor chat with one purple lily run. Um, could technically do orange tower for gibbles for cycle one. way we could say we did all the hunts in air quotes. Just focus on good fully stacking. Any 
something to speed up the run slightly. these enemies are mostly resistant. Next wave though should melt instantly. Again, which yeah, they're just kind of exploding. Hello guilty light. I like that Kapoe stacking still kind of works here, but like enemies die so quick that it's like, I don't know if it's always worth it to be honest. Oh, that was just rude. Guess I could stack with Magical Piece to slow my spell casting down and use less TP. Let's slow down the hill delts for the team. Anything that gives them more time to position is good enough for me. See, like in this track, this one is Wings of Fury. Oh, they're they're done. They're they're actually just straight up done. Goodbye. Bowie stack is real. This is another one by T Lopes. Chris, got him. Really trying to fight me? Get off my face. I should slow down the hill delts. Give the team more time to hit him. There we go. Ooh. Well, they're ultra dead. Marble should take decent damage here. Just I'm hearing some rare straw. More Rappies, just actually get bodied. We'll do a little chip damage to help combo kill. I don't think the lure is needed in Forest. As long as they've shifted, should be fine. Useful rare. Big oof. Let's open for PDs or something. Brutal. And I guess we'll do one of these and we'll do one, uh, what's it called? Terrell's Ego. Just to humor chat further. When I hear this, this reminds me a little bit of the music from Little Big Planet 2. Until it does this, then it does this. There's a PD. Four wolves. Perish. Significantly. Got some stats going. Could have had a few more. This should help though. Yeah, they're just legit exploding. <laughs> I'm not even sure if Chad can hit him. <laughs> they just they descend into the fire and perish. Yeah, 
see if we can pick up an easy holy rare or something. Give the team a chance to level a bit more. We'll go to the, the tried and true classic of Corel's Ego. The reason why this one is strong, Blue ID can potentially just option select into Holy Ray at the end of the run, so it makes the run a bit more worthwhile. It doesn't get the guaranteed badges, which is the benefit of the other one, and this run is slightly longer, but there is a lot more Hilded, Hilded Four chances, yeah. materials, I'm not gonna lie. Probably gonna be the only value in the run, I should go get him. There we go. Oh, congratulations, Sir Frost. You got another S parts? I'll still be doing that, uh, government quest mentioned earlier in the Discord. Say to congrats to Sir Frosty slash Bunny in the Discord. Probably don't want to play Red ID. HP revival. Boo. Oh, the badges. That item I wish was just removed. The drop list, I'll be real with you. Like, they started removing them, so hopefully they eventually just get replaced with cosmetics or something. The jet is just so pointless. Oh, I'm a little off center. I've never been a little bit. Speaking of which. I think it was this portion of the wall. Yeah, there we go. Don't mind me, I'm just bullying away. Hey Chad, this is fair, right? Or held else. down for later, so that way team can take mine to get back to here. Save some time later. We'll take somebody else's telepipe to get to that warp later. The reason being, we have to do a backwards trek anyway, might as well save some time. I was gonna say, you watch. We check caves, we'll get like double mill lily for no reason. Out of spite. This room is not bad.
I know it's wolves coming up. <laughs> I'm like, that's what I remember. A 45 hit alive Aku. Where is that when we're rolling, like, actually good item? Real question, chat. Real question. That BS. Shaking my head, John. I'm gonna activate the enemies that are over here. Do some box checks for PDs. And I'll just zap them through the wall, I think. Oh boy. Yeah, this should work. I can hit through the wall. There we go. Let's take the warp back. Everybody will go through my red warp. My team's got this. As long as they hit the switch, we should be good. Start. <laughs> I'm just gonna start the next room. I'm not gonna wait. Things we could be doing. Let's activate every wave here preemptively. Definitely want to go back to the middle of the room. out up there. I'll take that PD. Yeah, we got a very high number of PDs. It was nice. <laughs> I got purple dumb card tells me they're doing the uh called the passive attack B. On that nano dragon at the end. We got to the final wave. How many enemies here? <clears throat> Marco's buffs are gonna whirl. I can't do anything about that. Not in his room. Get there soon though. Probably want the mine material. <laughs> I believe that's all of them. Kill the boss, see if we get a holy ray. I don't think Blue gets anything exciting from Lily. Probably leave after that. Yeah, I remember you grinding this out during the different events. Easter in particular. But we're gonna get many more chances for Frozen Shooter. Not too worried about that.
stand still and regen TP. Oh, Marco passing a thousand HP. Definitely makes surviving episode 4 much easier. The Holy Ray, sadly. Alright. So let's reset. I'll bring in one purple character. We'll do one caves run for chat. Although I need to take a break in probably about a minute. game set up, but I'm going to be a little bit. I'm just waiting on a call. So many badges. Let's do a quick check of how we're doing badge-wise. Oh, I need to put this magical piece back in the bag. I think that means all my magical pieces are being held currently. Do a quick check on how we're doing badge wise. We're back up to 53 gold and rising. 44 Halloween cookies, almost 40 PDs. Not bad. Yeah, so unfortunately, I'm, I would do it now since we're in between, but I am waiting on somebody. I'm just gonna walk across the street for it. Stepping out. Did anybody want to do a caves run? Oh, more goes back. Disregard. I guess I could start the quest. Is this it before I'm waiting on somebody? So if they're not ready, they're not ready. player here. Make it safer for the Berserk users. Yeah, the fire trap's closer to the red door if you want to delete them. It's like, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I actually set that up. But yeah, I saw it from last time.
You get a Rafoe. You get a Rafoe. You get a Rafoe. Creative stun lock. Is it beach out or has it gotten like really bad this year? Like it, it was like really quiet last year until like the end of the year, and then like this year has been like legitimately four or more spam bots in most streams. In particular, like almost, almost literally one per hour. It's kind of crazy given how much uh, other accounts have been blocked. Uh, I feel like listening to Oh, Vice with only 15 hit. That's so sad. Pretty good. You know what? Let's do a weird song. Get rid of Crimson Assassin here. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, I I don't know what changed recently, or like, new companies are looking to promote with it. Because if anything, there's more ways to get rid. Dodging is annoying. CEO and graphic design. There you go. Sorry, 15 hit voice. You're not worth picking up. Bonk. Bonk. It is just refusing to hit the one that I'm looking at. Thank you. Getting actually trolled. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. It's really throwing me off. Hard to aim when your eyes want to close. Ooh, not a single, not a single rare enemy. I think we saw like what how rappy today and that's it oh marissa double a still that's pretty bad like you would not have thought it was rear up based off of today's uh findings like just actually atrociously bad like two rare enemies and like almost 1400 plus kills that could potentially be rare I mean, think of it this way. Some of the quests have, like, legitimately 100 per quest. And we've done, like, how many quests? And we've only seen two. Kind of insane. Very unlucky. But anyway, the run's over. I don't know where the team's going. Uh... I guess I could switch to orange ID power. Say that we're going for Uber. I think that has the most cycle one chances. Oh. Well, now I can't leave because Photon Drop and Luck Material are there. I was going to leave the game. Yeah, just so team is aware, there's literally nothing uh, here after this. There's nothing worth killing. Anyway, I'm gonna go do this and then I'm gonna leave the game. Just make sure I did C Bank 3 specifically. No, no, no. I actually need to. I'm leaving. Oh, it's like the seven minute version of the song. Alien dance? What's alien dance? Oh, the uh, emote. 
Sorry, I forgot the Twitch doesn't show up, but the stream does. I think it's... I think it's this character. One second. Let's double check what quest has the best skibbles while the event is up. Phantasmal World 4. We could clear CCA Orange. I might just do a couple of fours and two of three, I think. No worries, Marco. Hope you enjoy your food. I'm waiting on something similar. Guess the food order is delayed. I was gonna say, where's her three? Sh she should have a three seals. I'm sorry. She's one of my original characters. She should 100% have a three seals. Where is it? Oh, no. oh. Perfect light divine? Check. I don't want it on her. Yes. Oh no, she oh she's wearing it currently. Okay, that, that makes more sense, because I was like, she's the character that should just have it. Not everything she needs there. I just need her uh three seals. So we'll kill Gibbles and reset, which is like the fastest reset too, because you only kill like basically like three enemies. There's a three seals. I guess all three seals double PP create. That seems fair and logical. No worries. Let's just get started. It's not a very long run. As I said before, it's like it's like legitimately we kill three Gibbles, the run is over, you reset. We can check the boxes near the Gaigui, but we don't even kill the Gaigui. So if you want to do some very intense resets, <laughs> you have a character capable of doing these. Oh, there's two out of three that we need to check. There we go. This is for Psycho 1, just for clarity for people that don't know what we're hunting here. We're, we're doing all the goofy runs today. Just to say that they they were went for. There's our last gibbles. So I think because the run is so short, I might just check the boxes in the next room for anything and then just reset. There, we could say we did orange ID. Let's see what's in the boxes. Nothing of interest. Right, let's do two of these since they're so short. Or two more, I mean. Like, the, the run is that short, I'm not kidding. Like, no, that's it. It's even shorter than the other resets. So I figured we'd up our chances. Then we'll just do another CCA, I think. That way we could say we went for all the runs. Almost kind of wish I had an orange raw moral. Just to be able to do tower and this run solo, but honestly... If I just get it even once, it's, I'm not even going to run it again. I don't really want three Psycho ones. I just want a Psycho one. Oh, they're glitching out so hard on my screen. On the plus side, I can heal the team full screen. Put on another song. Because <laughs> we, we could basically have a song per run. 
Or possibly a song for two runs, given how short it is. Go get the soundtrack in. Hmm. Last Phantasmal World 4, we'll do one CCA and then we'll just do TTF or something. I guess food is late today, chat. The order was placed at 12 for 1 o'clock. It is now 1.13. Rip, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna stand on the magical spot to avoid gibbles. There we go, magical spot attained. It's flexing at me aggressively. My Barda not go through? Oh, he is glitching so bad on my screen, holy. I guess Barda doesn't go through that, but bullets do. I don't I don't know what kind of wacky world logic we're going through. There we go. Chad has been greatly humored with Uber Hunts. That money though. Somebody, ah, uh, did you get a badge or something? Alright. Let's reset. We'll do one last CCA. And then I guess it's TTF time. That way we could very thoroughly said we did the ones that are worth doing. So that one has three Gibbles. The event quest has 15 and is the next best one. Though it is technically the best time to do the hunts for the Ubers. Off of orange ID. Because it's 1 in 12, 603 in terms of drops. Which is actually pretty high for an Uber. Especially with how common Gibbles is. So this is statistically the most likely thing you will get for Gibbles. Otherwise it's very boring PW4 resets, which I don't really want to do with a solo RNGD. This is it before, maybe I'll make another character that could do episode 4 and episode 2. Or technically parts of episode 1 I suppose. Say a piercing be good. Nice. Multi kill. Hmm. If I'd lined up on the side, I could have gotten multiple hits there. Fortunate. I guess. Well, I got the freeze. I'll get the freeze on the Gibbon. Damn, didn't get it. Oh, nice freeze. There we go. See, it's like I'm a trap user. 
Just with like inconsistency. Ooh, there we go. Me good. Thank you, me good. That freeze was so good. Can't spell cat if I'm being bullied. Oh no, he didn't leap away. That was almost really bad because I was getting hit. Hmm. pick your own playlist today. I'm just freezing him. I had enough. Negan wants to whiff. Negan's gonna whiff. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even remember what else orange gets here. I'm gonna have to review my own section ID guide at some point. It's like one of those ones where I look at the tables, I look at the enemies, I make a decision, then I forget. Out of sight, out of mind, chat. I'm just like... Unless I run the hunt often, it's just like whatever. I have like a million things I'm thinking about instead. Really? Megan, please. Thank you. I don't need like 100% accuracy, but 40%, so I should get it in 3 tries most of the time. Oh, it's melee. That's where I get scared. Rough time. There we go. Ooh, there we go. There's Megan picking up the slack. Getting a piercing Megan there saves a lot of time. It's like four seconds or five seconds in a run. That's only seven minutes. That's just on one wave. Sapping my TP was mean. He 
peek at just like scraping the enemies off the team. Trying to remove my items. Is that gonna be? There we go. That was an e for sure. That's like I'm almost like a, another functional party member. That Robardo was insane. <laughs> it saved so that saved so much time. That could have been really bad if we got knocked down repeatedly. I will take that all day. Oh, I'm getting drained of my TP. No, that's so rude. Rip my trifluids. Rest in peace. That was like three I had to burn. That sucked. Still enough to complete the run, but that's very in a way. The enemy basically drained like 3k for me. <laughs> for use. It's kind of annoying. Out of here. Team, I've been knocked down. <laughs> Guy Gui was trolling. Yeah, I got sniped out of my position, so I couldn't stun long. I wanted to hold off the TTF for after food. It's now like 125 and I'm questioning everything. I have to go make a phone call and be like, where's the food? Oh, speaking of which. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that, chat. Okay, so let's go to TTF, I guess. Surprise chat was still in the quest, honestly. Hand it in. Um. What character should I play? Cast is definitely my best character, but in terms of party comp, I think it would make sense. I played. I guess if we still want to go for Ubers and the Dream, I could try a different Sky ID character. Anybody wants to hop in for some TTF, we'll be doing probably two or three of these, and then I am definitely going to eat the food that I just received. <laughs> Get Lincoln Park in here. Hmm, the HP total is very interesting. Gotta get him XP somehow. Hmm, is there something he can hold on to permanently? Also, I need to write down what button is on what. I always forget if it's F11 or F12. I always have to look at my controls. Kind of the downside of using the uh, controller when you have to add in the shortcuts. Like, the buttons don't correspond to what you think they do. I guess I'll quit for the quest. I could put the grants in there if I really wanted to. Does he have a mag? He does, okay, good. Probably Triple Heavenly's... Vita 1? That makes the most sense. I probably don't want to die to ice damage on one of these. Oh, I have a blue barrier? Why is that in here? Something like this. Got a glide divine. That should be good enough. Right, so let's get tanky. This should put me somewhat in survivability range without going too high. Fly Divine will cover some of my other weaknesses. So it looks like I'll need some more three seals. Oh, I can get a club of Laconium. That would actually make a lot of sense to bring with me. Um, I guess otherwise I'm good to go. So I'm assuming there's no fourth person that would like to hop in. This is the Reaper's power. Hopefully he's going to hop in. Oh boy, Chad, I can't get Gavarda. I decided to put in the Streets of Rage remake soundtrack. I think it just kind of made sense. We'll go back to Yuzo later. We went on a very long tangent for Streets of Rage. We might as well just complete it. Yeah, we got Glide Divine to debuff the bosses at max distance, Club Laconium for Bowie damage increase. So I'm, like, I'm trying to be a bit more optimal. Hopefully with triple heavenly HP I should survive the basic damage from falls, but still get knocked down. We're kind of in that little sweet spot where I should be fine. As long as I don't get frozen by the ice shot, I should live, because it should knock me down. I'll die to the slaps, but... Not much I could do about that at the moment. 
Unless I really want to quadruple heavenly HP, which I guess in theory I could go do. Ideally, I'll just level enough that it won't matter. So if I need to sw switch out a V8 on one there, that's fine. Oh, I actually don't have another Heavenly HP in here. Well, that's sad. I wonder what happened to it. Must be on one of the other characters. I have like seven, just for chat clarity. It's not like I'm like low. Like they're just sitting on the other forces. Oh well. Should be good enough. I should survive lasers and nonsense. Elkleave is almost 180. Congratulations, Elkleave. Our goal here is to de debuff, debuff, debuff. We're not going to go for any damage whatsoever. If we see any confused traps being used, we'll try to help them. But, uh... No cast users here. Oh my gosh, that damage is insane. Oh, let's leave. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. Defense is a little low. It's at 117. It might be really abysmally terrible. I'm probably going to need D-Band to survive. I kind of like the blue hair and blue outfit matching with the glide divine. Like pairing the weapons with the color of the character. Feels more like a complete set. I did my job as the lord. Might as well as regen some TP. I think I got the glitch. Oh, I actually almost maneuvered to the right spot. See, it's when you're when you're visible in the camera, holding upright goes upright, but when that rotates to fight the dragon, I think it also rotates you. So I was holding down right there, and that stopped me from going uh, too far. Even though I was like... If I had held upright, I think it would have been in the upper left. We, we got our way through it. animation though holy that default speed is horrible i guess i could see if i could get anything interesting from the slimes while i'm here i mean it's probably worth checking lily just so that everybody's aware for rare lily normal lily doesn't matter at all Fireball so mediocre. Alright, let's move on. I tried, I got a couple kills. Where did Chris go? From the Estoc Chris. There we go. Left time. Light time. A 
probably gonna take damage here. Didn't die though. All that matters in the end. Sky ID. It's not cute. It's. <laughs> I want God HP particularly, but Sange. You get Sange for Mill Lily. We should do the Mill Lily checks on Sky. Here, only Sincesta really matters. God HP would weirdly be useful. I run. But I'll be leveling pretty constantly throughout the run at least, because I'm super, super low level. Okay, we applied to find on to reduce elemental damage a little bit. But otherwise, our, our resists are actually astoundingly terrible, because I don't have the three seals. No traps, no thanks. Unlock, it's not on me. Hmm? Oh, hopefully he's going back. Maybe he's getting a weapon for Stunlock. Sit back and relax. Take escape doll before falls. I think that just makes sense, right, chat? Where well, you can ignore one of my deaths, unless you happen to be close. I'm gonna debuff the room. Sadly, Darkbringer not targetable. Um, I guess I'll go up top. I'm sure it's like not doing anything else. Don't mind me, just luring them in a weird way. Yeah, then I can at least box check. So yeah, we'll kill the Deldies and the Sorcerer and the Andy Bilro, because if we've all three dropped something. One is Cosmetics, Lava's Cannon I think is from Del D. Psycho 1 from Sorcerer. You can believe in the ultra one-shot dream. Up, up, 
few when we're in the other area. I don't think it's worth doing before then. Is that a monolith? There we go. Monolith is here. At least I can clear these out fairly easily. Ouch. Notice I don't oh, I got I got crit and died. Wow, that sucks. Is that my skip doll that just got used? Okay, it didn't it wasn't. That kinda sucks. My defense is so low that actually one shots me. Potentially. There we go. I'll be on spinner duty. Did you see that? I had a negative 71% chance of lighting a normal on falls there. Something. There we go. Still got it in the end. Uh, we're gonna have to play ultra save. See how this goes. Spinners are insta death to me. Actually, does this just kill me straight up? I think it does, right? Oh, it doesn't. Hey, bonus health helps. I'm gonna heal the team real quick. Get Chris's buff back. Look at that. I'm helping. Now I have my Glide Divine out properly, so I should be able to Zalore, and then I'm just going to start walking towards somebody to revive me. Oh, so close. So close. Rip my skip doll. I don't have... Oh, wait. Rip. That's awkward. Put to self. We need to fix our commands at some point. Definitely want to reassign some Moon Atomizer so I can quick swap into that. But I, I died a surprisingly low a number of times. I honestly only just got trolled by the spinners and the guaranteed kill if it hits me from falls. Thanks, Heavenly HPs. Nice level up. Look, I gained so look, I gained 10 MST this level. Nice double level up. We need to Should be two. I think that's correct. No, that can't be correct. Sadly, no items of interest. Use this money to go purchase some items. We'll do two more runs. I don't mind leaving the Heavenly HP on them, because honestly, it's only really useful in the forces at this point. I wouldn't normally run it on other characters. Like, if it's a... If it's like a Ranger, I, I don't really want to get hit. I have other ways to level that don't require me to get hit. AKA avoiding falls. Okay. Yeah, so at least now if Foley's there, I have a faster option versus them. 
like how that was still A rank. It was like, get murdered. A rank. Rangers, humans, there you go. The time of the Ramar has arrived. Another escape doll. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> I was just gonna say, don't worry, chat, we're not missing out on any frozen shooters, because apparently rare enemies are banned today. sad. I think that was my Raffi mag activating. I guess that kind of works. Sadly, I can't see myself. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's gonna make me do something weird. I'm gonna hold left here a little bit, see where it puts me. Well, I gotta go back anyway, because it's a PD. Unfortunate. I just want to do a rare lowly check here. I'll see what I can do solo. If it's rare lily, I'll need help with it. Otherwise, I'm moving on. Oh, it is rare lily. Wait, who got rare lily? Was it me? I guess it was the other room. Oh, speaking of Sange. Repel cleave. My buttons are reversed. Let me this and fix up this feature. I had the right idea. Yeah, Sangha is useful because potentially be used as junk, but we can also potentially get it with hit percentage. This doesn't matter. I'll take the warp back. Actually, I guess I could just move forward, it doesn't really matter. Is the team waiting for something? I was gonna say. <laughs> I guess another warp. 
Let's get some buffs. Yeah, I started walking back and then I'm like, uh, I don't know if Chris has everything set up. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't see the warp, so I just went back. It's like, whatever. No telepipe, but Ryuker. I guess that's fair. Uh, we're gonna heal the team here. I'm gonna force you to survive it. <laughs> nice backpack. I'm gonna put out two Gafolis. That shouldn't work. More or less. We've officially seen like infinity more mil lilies than we have uh Dorfana Clear. Rip Dorfana Clear. I mean I can I'm getting closer to surviving falls of swipe. I hopefully have enough HP to not die to Spinner. Spinner doing 800 damage to me or 772 to me was kind of insane. I don't think it should be allowed to do that much when I have low HP. I guess my defense is just that atrocious. Regen some TP. On the plus side, this boss will level me. So slowly but surely, my Gafoe will do more damage. Boss was actually trolling there for a moment. Out of Gafoe, though, this should work. Nice. Four enemies. Ouch. Did you see how much that did? Holy. Oh, it was about to body me. Actually. Arlen was bullying me. Okay, should activate. Oh, oops. 
didn't reach. I'll be able to fix it here though. It's not a big deal. I keep forgetting. Sometimes when players load in, they're not targetable. Now they should be. If I really need to debuff, it's not a big deal. I mean, our foe is strong enough. As long as I'm not doing like 5 million casts to kill, we should be fine. At least, ooh, that almost could have been bad. Trying not to get it by spinner. Oh, there we go. This time I didn't die instantly. I think I just got absolutely cheesed <laughs> earlier. Because I'm like, I don't, I didn't think it should be able to one-shot me. Maybe shenanigans happen, like I got perfect hit. Oh, I thought I took damage there. Damn. Oh well. He's the lore going. You know what? I did some damage. That's all that matters. Probably dead here. Oh. Spared. Sandwich. Ah, uh, you can't target me with Rafoe if I'm already flat on my butt. What is going on, team? Team, please. Oh, I got rewarded. Nothing I could do about that. That one's so dumb. Oh boy. So even with my ice resist, I still die to that. That's kind of insane. I can't do anything about that. If it targets me with ice, it's over. Will you, will you stop targeting me with ice? Oh my gosh, give me a chance. I could survive the fire one. Oh no, team killed before I could buff. Ooh, that was a mistake, whoever shot that. That was a big mistake. I almost got the ship down. I was literally in the animation for it. Oh boy. This is gonna be rough, because I'm gonna die again. Uh, I guess I'll go this way. Oh, it's moving away. Barely. I almost got the buff and parameter. Dead already? I don't know if I would dead already on that one. That was like a killing frenzy from Falls. Holy. I'm surprised the rest of the team was dying. You guys have a lot of HP. Are your resists like actually zero? What's going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. I only died to ice because there's no way I could survive that. I'll be like, check, check your equip. Thirty-six is higher than mine. We'll have to hand out heavenly resist to everybody. Then you'll survive. Get that twelve resists. There we go. Yeah, it sucks. I tried putting on the Ice Merge because I don't have a 3 seal. I guess I could technically try to put on a Heavenly Resist as well to try to survive the Ice Attack. I feel like I'm getting close to enough health to survive it. 
Because I can get hit three times currently. Like, if, if I get knocked down by fire, I'm fine. Try one thing. I have one. I'm gonna bring this for false. I'm gonna have to restock some more. There we go. Yeah, three seals would have been my preference since that's more resist. Honestly, nothing else seems to kill me other than the ice attack. Oh, well, I guess technically the swipes. This should help. They'll be at 42 ice. Hopefully I survive that. one then it's definitely food time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hopefully you're getting closer to 180. Hopefully within a quest or two we'll hit it. Get our buffs on. Curious if I'd be good. There we go. Little heal. <laughs> Rappy pushing the rest of the way. Thank you, Rafi. Stop moving around here, it won't mess with my movement too much. It's almost where I needed to be. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do the middle lily check, so I'll try to kill the slimes that are here. We switch to unarmed for it. Just because we saw we did get at least Sange last time. Second, some Gafoes. As a reminder, it doesn't matter if I have tech boost on Gafoe versus Slime, they're just immune to it anyway. We'll call it PSO Jank. Game, please. Thank you. So I'm gonna start moving regardless. No Mololi. Gift all drop somewhere. I probably want that. There it is. Hopefully we don't get hard targeted, but we'll see. Looks like it's slime dupe a little bit here. in the way and then I'll just do the rest. Yeah, my MST's climbing enough that at least it shouldn't take more than a couple fireballs. 
Oh god, I got rewarded with a silver punch. Good enough. There we go, see? <laughs> People are collecting their silver badges. Yeah, sadly I just need roll, roll MST to do it. How's the grind? Uh, disappointing. We got a uh, level 30 technique for Chris, but then after that it was just nothing. I don't even think we got like supplemental rares, unless you really count Sange. Oh wait, Rafi gets invincibility on boss? I thought it healed. Disregard. Maybe it was the striker unit that was healing earlier. Do one fireball, two fireball, move to the bottom right. Close enough. Hope you're doing well, Calvisham. We're on our final run of the day. For the stream, anyway. Yeah, the remake OSC is also still pretty good, too. Streets of Rage soundtrack. damage do I do? Oh, that's too slow. <laughs> if I was doing like 400, I would have stayed behind. 288? No, that's too slow. Nice level up. <laughs> the missiles just knock me down. This becomes a minor inconvenience versus an insta kill. So yeah, mission tried, mission failed to see Dwarf Hunter Player today. Maybe one day. Stare into the camera. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's that is a violent shaking that just happened with the camera. Holy! Alright, so we'll just pick somebody and heal them arbitrarily. Cause I can't really do anything on this boss. No sense in me bothering. Happy little fireball, and then boom, boom, clear. Yeah, I want to see force, forces practice that. I keep seeing people not pop the boxes instantly. Like, there's a science to it. Gafoe, then Resond. It works every time. You need to destroy literally one box in order to destroy all the boxes with Resond. Gafoe just ensures that you'll hit it no matter what. There's no real timing there. Keep the team healthy here. Go for a debuff here so don't die. You know what? <laughs> we navigated their weird movement, and that's all that matters. Ooh, that HP material. I'm gonna go back for it. I was gonna say, Calvisham, there were, uh, we got attacked by bots while you were out. <laughs> to have fun, Calvisham, if you'd like to go on a banning spree, I think there was at least two. Possibly three so far in the stream. Seriously, Twitch has a has a really bad bot problem. 
I'm not even what I would consider like anywhere near a top like 10,000 streamer and I'm getting botted constantly. So I'm curious how that works for like partners and stuff like that versus the affiliates. Wait, this time the buff will work. I just did it too early last time. Right, so our health total is not bad. Is that a monolith? It is indeed a monolith. So I made pretty good time here. Anytime you're sub nine, we're on track. We don't need it to be a uh, sub eight is insane. Sub nine, I'm like that's totally fine, especially with uh, me holding the fin down as the anchor. <laughs> like it's definitely my fault. Get rid of these. Yeah, I imagine so, like followers only and things like that. Or in rare instances, subscriber only. Subscriber only makes sense when you're there's like 10,000 people or whatever. But it is like just actually insane. Oh, denied the kill. QP laser is strong. It is even me. This is valid to use here. I believe this just ends it. There we go. Be roughly in the right position. Are you trying to pew pew laser falls? That does not do damage. It kills the spinners. Any other option would be preferred. Does like negative damage. Ooh. Interesting. Run team run. Ooh, Hellcleave didn't get knocked down. Nice. Congrats to Hellcleave. Okay, I gotta heal on almost everybody. Let's say I did what I needed to do as a lord. I chipped the boss slightly. Now I'm get, gonna get slapped up by the boss. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to perish, chat. Going down. I guess I'll run towards whoever's on my right and just believe I'll get revived, maybe. Okay. Oh, good thing I moved. I was gonna say, I'm doing a challenge. I tried. Oh no. <laughs> Don't target me, Falls. I can't survive that. <clears throat> I think I survived Grants. Okay, we're good. You know what the sad part was? I might have actually foed myself to death. If it was uh, Soul Link to me. But yes, I'm a ghost. There we go. That went a lot smoother. Good job, team. Oh no, for sure. I'm happy we leveled. So we're out of the kill range now. When we were doing it earlier, I was like 7, what? 770 when I entered the boss arena. So I got slapped all over the place. Unfortunately, we did not get crit. We did not have to deal with the ice attack, which still kills me. Okay, we leveled out of death zone. Alright, so heavenly resist not needed. That's all I wanted to know. He HP'd out of it. I could have technically put it on for the ice attack, but I still think it kills me no matter what. Let's go put that back. I guess I'll leave him with the Club of Laconium. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's take a little look before we end the stream. Just how far we got. So the music gave up. It was starting to play what sounded like Streets of Rage 2. Indeed it was. Hey, we tried. No red ring today. Nothing too crazy drop-wise, besides from the level 30 tech. 
I would like to go on record, we have officially gotten two level 30 attacks as a reminder before we saw a single dwarf out of Claire this entire event. That is just kind of insane. Why will it not spawn? Who knows? Big question mark there though. So sad, chat. So sad. But anyway, I'm gonna go get some food, and probably in the evening we will resume some PSO. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube for now. If you did watch to this point in the video or the bot, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again in the next part.